please just come and uh, 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 allow the Vice President to make his remarks. The news is that he's been acquitted on both counts. Uh, <clears throat> well, when you have such politically motivated cases and you meet a magistrate, you meet a judge who sticks to the facts and sticks to the law under the governance of dictator Hagainde Hijirema, you feel for that magistrate, you feel for that judge. And now I fear for magistrate Mumfuri. Obviously, she had no basis on which to find me with a case to answer because the evidence of the prosecution was terribly discredited. No one at all could prove that I refused to hand over a passport. No one could prove that I was using two valid passports because the truth of the matter is that I voluntarily returned the diplomatic passport after we lost elections. I got a new passport which was misplaced. I got a replacement. When I discovered the old passport, I personally took it to the passport's office to have it cancelled. And how these people just decided to arrest me and to inconvenience me, to go and make me sleep in the cells, to inconvenience my family, purely because they wanted to impress dictator Hagainde. Now, the court today has come to a conclusion that I was just being harassed, I was being victimized, and today I've been vindicated. Now, I feel for her because I know that Haga Inde does not want any one member of the opposition to walk from court. He wants all of us to be convicted. He wanted me to be convicted by the Anti-Corruption Commission. When I was vindicated, he quickly summoned them and harassed them to a point where they said they were appeal the matter. He wanted me to be convicted over Nelly Muti to a point where when the Magistrate Cassandra found that this matter was out of time, he told them to appeal. Now, this is the third matter. I don't know when Haga Inde Hijidema will be satisfied with the harassment that he's taking us through. But the one thing that I can say to him is that for the sake of this country, we are determined to face him head on. No matter how many times he causes arrests on us, we will not relent. We shall continue to soldier on. We shall continue to fight on. And I'd like to appeal to members of the Patriotic Front. Continue to support one another. We still have members, leaders of the Patriotic Front who are facing court cases. Chairman for Information, Emmanuel Mwamba, Secretary General of the Party, Tom, Thomas Zulu, and many others have people in, in uh, Eastern Province, Rizwan, Patel, Solomon, all of them are facing unnecessary court persecution. And this is all at the behest of Haga Inde Hijidema. The good thing is that, like I said in 2021, after losing elections, I said time had not stopped ticking. Time is ticking. And now Haga Inde crossed the midline already. He now has a very short time in which he must redeem himself. Instead of fighting the hunger that the people are suffering, instead of him ensuring that he delivers on his promises and he made lofty promises, he told Zambians that as soon as you elect me, I promise you, he said, I promise you the number one thing I'll do is to end load shedding. Instead of ending load shedding, now he's keeping us and the whole country in a total blackout. He doesn't even have a clue on how to sort out this problem. Instead, now he's going around bragging that he has got $25 million here, $2.5 billion there to come and put up uh, solar units. He now is even challenging Zambians that they must take this as a blessing in disguise. They must go and put solar on their houses. If he is getting free solar systems from his uh, friends, he mustn't think that every Zambian has that possibility. How much is a solar panel for you to tell Zambians to go and start using solar energy? And what is that solar energy going to do if the solar energy cannot even make sure that people can cook? On the other hand, you have also told Zambians stop cutting firewood. What do you expect them to use? You don't even have gas in this country for people to go to. You don't have gas stoves that are affordable and you're talking to people to go alternative. How can they go alternative in a few months? Can you demonstrate Haga Inde 
that you are capable of solving these problems because you claimed you are Mr. Fix-It. But now you have proved that you are the one who has been totally fixed and you need somebody to come in and fix you because you are a total failure. Actually, I want to say to you, dictator, that people are starting to say you are a total reject. People have rejected you and they also reject you in 2026. We know that you are working on Mingalato to try and change things to suit yourself. But let me tell you, even Article 52 of the Constitution will haunt you. I warned you, I told you that killing Bill 10, you are just going to raise a ghost that will haunt you. Now you are spending sleepless nights because of Article 52. Mr. Fix-It.